uh, Jonathan Kahn's amazing books that we've published, The Harbinger, uh, and many others, uh, the Book of Mysteries, and uh, the many books that you all have uh, have enjoyed for uh, for several years now. We are so excited. Uh, uh, Jonathan Kahn just revealed uh, the, the, the Paradigm cover uh, just a little while ago. You might have seen it in a previous video post, and uh, we invite you to look at that and share it. And um, we just wanted to... Um, have this other moment here where we share a few more things with you with the Harbinger and just uh, very appreciative of Jonathan's time with us today and uh, so we're just going to have a discussion about uh, some of the revelations that are inside the paradigm and he's going to give us a little bit of a sneak peek and in, uh, in, into some of the revelations that are there and what, what God is saying through this. Um, so, uh, so Jonathan, in a nutshell, uh, what is the paradigm? Well, a paradigm is, I mean, if you look that up, you know, people use the word a lot. A lot of people don't really know what it fully means. Paradigm is a, either a symbol, a representation, a model, a blueprint of something else. You know, and God actually uses it throughout the Bible. He uses paradigm, prophetic paradigms. And so a paradigm is, is a, an ancient blueprint from the Bible. Very, you know, it, it, it kind of goes on the same train as the harbinger, you know, which you have this thing that happened, because God uses all those things right. to speak to us, to reveal. And so the paradigm is this ancient, uh, uh, this, this what happened in, in this time period in the Bible um, that amazingly matches up with, but more than matches up, with where we are, that gives revelation of where we are, that actually unfolds where we are, down to, I mean, people. You know, it, it's, not just, it's not just objects, it's not just these things. Um, and it is, you know, the, the, there's a big picture. The big picture is one of apostasy, and that's what's happening all over the world. And it's got that in there because it's what happened in Israel. But there's a specific period in Israel's history where things happen that are matching everything that's happening here, again, down to, hmm. down to exact people, exact events, exact dates. It's really the blueprint of our times. Like the Harbinger, except it's not, it's not just nine things. It's... It's, it's the harbinger exploded to every realm um, that has affected every one's life, even to this day, where we have been, where we are, and where we're going. So, so much like the, uh, the harbinger was a template that, yes. that existed in ancient yes. Israel, there's yes. this template that's replaying itself again in America. Yes, and this one, this one actually is linked with the harbinger. This one actually comes out of the same soil as the harbinger, comes out of the same place, the same, the same nation, the same, you know, and, and it's linked. They, they even overlap. They even overlap t mm -hmm. together. Um, and so you got the warning of judgment going on. But this one takes it into another realm that is, that, that it's hard to say, it's all over. And it is, it, is, it, is, it is behind so many things that you would never imagine that affected America and the world. But it's, it's precise. Mm -hmm. And it's a whole new thing. And yet it's from that, it kind of complements, gives, gives the other side of the harbinger. So, you know, it's always fascinating for us to, to read how these templates sort of intersect with one another and how precise they are. How do these things come to you? I mean, how, how, well, what inspired the, the, the paradigm? Well, interesting to compare it with, say, the Harbinger. The Harbinger, I was standing in Ground Zero, and this thing, you know, came to me, and, and then I started, it said, like, you have to seek this, you have to start, and then it just became this puzzle piece, mystery right. unfolding. Well, this was, this was similar, um, that this, I would say, came to me with probably similar time, probably within a month, you know, wow. um, um, but the interesting thing, like the kind of like the Harbinger too, is as I'm, ri I'm writing it, and more things that I had no idea of were coming are coming as I'm writing it. You know, in fact, we're the one, the only one who's read it right now is the is the um, editor. You know, at, right. at, at Charisma, at WR. Who will and remain nameless. Yes, for the right, video. right. Did I just <laughs> you know, so uh, so the things that? But she she wrote back and she said, "Wow, wow, wow, wow." Yeah. And I said I, I said to her. Um, I said that wasn't even, when I started writing it. Those things weren't even there. They, they were so much. This is so real that there was so much more as I'm writing. Like whoa, it was you know, becoming revealed as you're as writing. I'm writing it. Wow. Yeah, because I didn't even know there was enough there before. But and these were given exact dates of events of our times. So it came, you know, it came like that. And um, you know, the beginning of this year, I didn't have this before. I mean, I thought about certain things, but never this thing just opened up like like the harbinger did, you know. And then I started. And similarly, I started writing, preparing, and then. It, it also came very quick. I wrote it in in about two months, you know, wow. sixty days. Um, but it just it just kept going. There was so much there. So what uh, now? Can you? I know you're you're trying to keep some things uh, sort of, <laughs> but but can we? Well, there's can the, you give us a yeah. Peek? I, I can give you. I, I, I give it more than I did on the first thing. But okay. but the first thing to say. Let me say because this this is not. I didn't say the nature. Aside from that, you know, for those who saw the release thing, they know this. But 
And this is not hype. This is the most explosive book I have ever written. It's explosive, period. So explosive that it's hard to even talk about certain things that you're going to see in it. Wow. Um, and I don't even know. I'm saying I have to figure out. And this is real. We've talked about this. How, when I go on television, am I going to reveal certain sure. things? And we have to figure out how to do that. Because um, it's so explosive. And it, it touches the powers that be. It touches everything. Um, so... Um, so that and that's an interesting point because the the harbinger was really more about events. Well, um, well, it's it, the, and, and and specific, you know, and, and objects and things. signs and signs. Yeah, here it's almost the harbingers become every. It's almost like people become harbingers. Wow. Everything. Goes, I mean, there there is, um, uh, you know, example. You know, um, uh, well, let me just let me read just a little bit, a little bit what we have on there. Some of you may have heard this, but this gives a little idea. And then I'll get into. A little bit. I mean, I'll speak. Around, I have to kind of speak around it. But um, the the questions on the which will be in the back cover of it will be: um, it, Could there be an ancient blueprint that holds the secret behind the events of our times? Could it could it actually determine elections? You know, uh, more accurately, who's going to win, who cannot win, uh, more accurately than any any pollster, anybody you see on television? Um, could it have actually give pinpoint? The years when certain things have to happen, the months, the week, even the dates of some of the most, the biggest events of our time. I'll give you, I'll just name one of them, because it's big in the heart, obviously the harbinger. 9-11. Yeah. The paradigm gives the exact date of when it had to happen. Hmm. When it had to happen. That if you were following this, uh, years before, and you count it, it gives the exact time that you'd start the countdown, it comes to the exact day. Wow. And, and that's just one. That's just one. I mean, the, the, you know, so um, I'll give you another example. Um, well, let me let me do this. I'll get, let me give you some. I'll give you some of the titles of the chapters, okay. and then maybe just say a word or something. Very, you know. Um, and forgive me for not being able to get to, into more, but um, the one is called the metamorphosis, which is the paradigm behind everything that's happening in the world, with the, everything we see with the, the apostasy around us, what's happening in America, what's happening in the world. But that follows the same thing. There's, there's, a, there's a chapter called the paradigm of kings. Where the leaders of America, each one of them has had a paradigm behind them that has determined what they did, what they will do, even their time periods. Wow. Um, the the uh, there's something called there's a chapter called the goddess, and that is that something happened in ancient Israel, but something happened in America. It happened in the palace of ancient Israel. It is it, the same thing happened in the White House of America and involves this ancient thing that involves this ancient goddess happened in the White House. And, and um, the, there's another one um, called the Nemesis. And it's some, it's, it's even, it links up with Osama bin Laden, the Nemesis wow. of America. But it gives the time, when, I mean, not only what he did, what happened, how he escaped, but also when he would be assassinated. And, wow. and, and all the time, and it couldn't ha happen before. And it even tells how he would be. You know, um, the, the, um, it, it even goes up to, it goes up to Donald Trump. And it's hard to wow. believe, but it's a, the, this is a whole consistent thing. Now, I'm not going to name the kings. I'm not going to name the queens. I'm not because it's too, it's too explosive right now. I don't know if I'll do this on television or not. Um, it goes up to right now, right where we are. People are asking, what's happening now? It's there. Wow. It's there. And it even, there's one chapter called The Temple, where something happened around the world, something that was ancient, was over 2,000 years old, and it happened, it was a sign that took place in the Middle East that links up with what happened in America, and which was, it's connected here. Um, another thing is called the Harbinger of Chapters, called the Harbingers of Days to Come, where it co now brings it all together with the Harbinger and the warning of judgment, because this is, there's a warning of judgment where we are right now, mm -hmm. and also about, you know, what do we have, where, what state, what do we are to do now? That's all there in that. It's bringing it all together, because they, they, they intersect. And the other, the, the, there's one thing called, I mentioned it in the reveal, but the Elijah paradigm, and this is to me, that means it's bringing it all home. By, by the way, there's something for if someone's unsaved, they can get saved because it, it also tells them about salvation there. Because you know, but but the last part is bringing it where there's a paradigm of you, of me, of all of us, and that's the Elijah paradigm. But it tells you how you know it, it, if you're if it's setting up what's happening right now. Well, then it's now taking now. How how do you live right now? How what's the key of how to overcome? Of how to be strong? Of how to of how to live your life? What's the the important the, the most important keys for this exact moment of history? So it's so much you know and you know and that's an idea. And that's and that's so that, that last part that you mentioned of, of how how it helps to shape someone's life right now and how they need to be living right now. That's so important because so many people take for granted. Uh, you know what God is trying to tell us, or yeah. 
they don't even listen, you know, and, and they see the world events around them, they think they just see doom and gloom, and then they, they just what do we do? become concerned about their own lives, their do? own situations. Yeah, yeah this, um, is, this is a thing for revival in it, not only personal revival, but also, you know, revival, period. Right. We were just talking before, I won't say with whom, on a, on a, on a the, you know, the fa- whatever, FaceTime, yeah, uh, right. somebody, and the and person, great person of the Lord was saying, what's going on? You know, yeah. because everything's, yeah. everything's saying, what's going on? It's there. It's here, and then and there's a thing, and there's a, a part of it that goes into the future. You know, what does this mean now for the future? We've gone here; everything's been exact. What's what does the future hold? So it helps and, and to provide be, some. They, so it helps to provide some context for the craziness that's going on now. Of everything, and, and it's everything, on. everything, and and, uh, Every, and some it, hope for the future. It's bringing revelation to that, and it's and it's giving the key of how, in the end, how are you to live your life? What is the paradigm of your life? Because these are all paradigms that exist before. For it and they're coming true, but this one is has to do with each of our lives mm. and actually tells us how to live that that the, the destiny that we have, even at such a time as this. Wow, excellent. Well, so it's, let me say, well, I'll say one last sure. thing. I just thought of, you know, because I shared it. It came to me. It wasn't in the notes. It wasn't in our, our our discussions. But but I felt, you know, when the Harbinger came out, I had written it. There was no reveal. There was no this because nobody knew it. No, you know, and, and many most people in America didn't know me, and and you guys read it. And we did, but there was no reveal. This is the closest thing that if we were, if you were there at the time of the harbinger before it came out, imagine you were there before it came out. This is what this is. This is this is like you're seeing the reveal of the harbinger. Uh, that's the paradigm. Excellent. Well, this has been incredible, and uh, we just our anticipation continues to grow for this amazing new release, the paradigm. It'll be available September 19th. Uh, there are links on the description of the video right now that you can click and pre-order right now. Uh, so be sure to do that and uh, share the video. Share this with your friends. Uh, and share the excitement with us. You can also go to theparadigmmystery.com if, uh, if you'd like to actually sign up there to receive uh, some, some updates and to stay informed about the new release that's coming. And uh, we just look forward to this amazing new release. Jonathan, thank you for working so hard over the last two months to write it. <laughs> and I know it's been a laborious process. But, I'll sleep uh, later. That's right. Hey. <laughs> uh, but thanks again, and uh, God bless you all. Marcos from Charisma House, and we are broadcasting live from Beth Israel in New Jersey with Jonathan Simpson. Jerusalem Center and uh